Life Adventure News. This morning, new cases of COVID-19 breaking records nationwide. As states scramble to contain the first wave of the virus, White House advisors admitting they're now planning for another wave come fall. You prepare, you prepare for what can possibly happen. I'm not saying it's going to happen, but of course you prepare. Nationwide, 26 states have seen an increase in cases over the last 14 days. Seven of those states seeing a spike of 100 percent or more new cases. Florida reporting more than 1,000 positive tests daily for 13 days straight. And on Saturday, California set a record for its highest daily count since the pandemic started, with more than 4,000 new cases. In Texas, both Austin and San Antonio are now two of the top five hotspots in the country. Texas health officials partially blaming the rise on gatherings at beaches, rivers, graduation parties, and bars. Video showing crowds packed inside local pubs led the state's Alcohol and Beverage Commission to revoke permits for seven bars as part of Operation Safe Open. Both North Carolina and Texas seeing a surge in hospitalizations over the weekend, too. Nurses from Colorado heading to Arizona to help with rising cases in hospitals there. They traveled from Phoenix to Colorado to help us, and so when the need arose, it just it was kind of a no-brainer. In Florida, a disturbing new trend. Our cases are shifting in a radical direction younger. Governor Ron DeSantis announcing new plans to step up social distancing in the state's bars and nightclubs, while the mayor of Miami delaying phase three of reopening in his county. Elsewhere, small steps towards getting back to normal. This week, Baltimore, Maryland, Massachusetts, and D.C. allowing diners to move indoors to eat at restaurants. And this morning in New York City, the former epicenter of the virus entering phase two, an estimated 300,000 people now able to go back to work and enjoy outdoor dining too. I think hopefully eating outside will help people feel safe, which is obviously most important. And here in Texas, despite the rise in cases, Governor Greg Abbott saying the state still has a surplus of available hospital beds. And in Florida, Governor Ron DeSantis saying it's not just increased testing that's behind this recent spike.